Is that a guy right there? I'm gonna have to get a little closer. Be mindful of that patrol too, because sometimes sometimes he can sneak up on you. I hear him getting a little paranoid. And these guys, what are they doing? Are they on lunch? Where well, there he is? It's whack. Hey, don't you know smoking is bad for your health? <laughs> oh, he just got injured. Cool. So the other guy's gonna go help him. Great. Whack him too. And I heard that patrol. Let's finish this guy off with the machete. There's the patrol. Let's give him a taste of the rocker launcher here. Sorry boys. Ain't more hell. <laughs> Alright. So, guard post down, patrol down, and you can tag this guard post by going in here and touching the ammo pile here. Alright, and there's some meds here, explosives if you need them, and we're golden. So now we're on the private property, okay, so we're on the detailed map of the private property. First thing on the agenda is to go grab some diamonds over here, right out behind that little hut there, go up behind and go down in. Got out of breath there. Wait till I catch my breath. Okay, and then just jump over this rock here. Oops, I missed. Okay, and right down here, there's the diamonds. Cha-ching. It's a good diamond pickup. Okay, and now we're heading on into the private property. Okay, head around this way. There's a path right along here. Find this path. Hit in. And I usually like to stop at this rock here take care of a few preliminaries. There's some guys on point here. She's the ear. There they are. Whack this guy. There's two guys on point there. And when you use this M1903 sniper rifle, it's good to keep the scope engaged after you take a shot because you have to work the bolt action after each shot. So keep the scope engaged and you can see what's going on before you have to work the bolt and get your next shot ready. And there's also a sniper up top there. See that sniper right there? Take care of him on the second balcony. Oops, shit, I had to reload. And there's another guy, he came out there. There he is. Here's the second guy on point, let's whack him. Okay, we're good. So the sniper's down. Oops. That was a bit of a drop there, it took a little bit of damage. Okay, so let's go in that hut there, pick up some goodies. Grab some bullets, no we don't need that for our pistol, but we do need it for our sniper rifle, so let's top off the sniper rifle. And grab a cool drink of water if you got if you got injured. And now I'm going to show you my favorite way of dealing with the private property. I like to get on top of this roof, the roof of this garage right here, and it gives you commanding view of the entire area. It's a beautiful high vantage point. Okay, it gives you a huge tactical advantage, commanding view of the whole area. And there's also some diamonds on top of this roof here, so that's another reason to go up there. Okay, and we're going to get there by traveling along this behind this stone fence here. Okay, so let's get going because. It's getting pretty hot here. <laughs> so let's run along this stone fence here. Use that for partial cover. And huck a grenade over there at that truck because sometimes there's some guys hiding behind it. And also it's really cool to blow it up. <laughs> ah, and there was a guy hiding behind it. You hear him scream? Nailed him. Oh, the guy right here. Oh, he's injured. I'm going to leave him injured. Because maybe some other guys will come and help him. And go over here. Use these crates to jump up on top of the roof. Just do a little Super Mario jumping there. Jump up on top of the roof. Equip your sniper rifle. And you got a beautiful view of the entire area there. Oh, well, there's a good opportunity for a grenade. Hop it over. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> and just whack everybody. As you see, you got a beautiful view. That guy's already injured, no matter. This guy right there. Got him. 
and sometimes there's some guys over here too and watch your flanks here and here and if they're all calmed down there's about at least a dozen guys out there and I think I killed maybe four or five so all the rest of them are hunkered down so you can get them excited by hucking out some Molotov cocktails out there get them to come out of hiding normally alright so it's down to Dalvara and let's go grab those diamonds there right there that's another reason we came up here okay and now we can go to this building here on the second floor and talk to that informant who will redirect the uh, commandos to Mokuba and watch out sometimes there's some guys in here okay okay and here's some fuel for our Molotov cocktails replenish that and go up the stairs here and there's the guy there's the informant just interact with him take out your butter knife okay offering to make him a sandwich give him a little incentive <laughs> Look, man, I'm serious. Okay, well, let's go. Let's go, butt munch. Atta boy. Okay. Heal up and grab some meds if need be. Okay, so now he's redirecting those commandos to Makuba. You don't have to wait for him. And there's two bullet boxes here, so whatever weapon you want to top off, I usually like to top off my sniper rifle, but I didn't use too many rounds, so I guess I'll top off my pistol. There we go. Actually, we could top them both off. Okay, and now Flora is going to call us up pretty soon and tell us that the commandos have been redirected to Makuba. There she is. Hey, Flora. Alright. So now the next thing on the agenda, this guy right there. Next thing on the agenda is to go to Makuba. And blow up the commandos gear in Mokuba. It's that blue square there, okay? Right here. See where you on the other map there? Be able to show you better. Let's hawk a grenade out there. And let's get the fuck out of Dodge. Go right down these stairs here. Don't bother dealing with you guys. We already got everything we need. We got the diamonds. We completed the objective. Let's just go. Go down the stairs, and there's always that Jeep, Jeep Liberty there, there. So grab that up. It's got no mounted gun, but it's got it's windowed on all sides, so it offers you some protection against small arms fire. And it handles really well. It handles really well. So we're going to try to drive this all the way to Mokuba. And we have to be mindful of those guard posts, okay? Because they, they're respawned now, eh? We've been gone long enough. So the enemies have come back at these guard posts. We have to take care of them again. See, there's one right there. Got him. Now the other guy is in alert mode. Equip our close combat weapon and look around for him. There he is. Alright. All right. And since the enemies have come back, that means all the goodies have come back too. What have I got here? Let's top off my rocket launcher. I'm going to need that. And top off our bullets for both our sniper rifle and our pistol. Because Mokuba can be a tough town. So, now equip your rocket launcher. And we're going to have to take care of two things now. The patrol at the crossroads that we did earlier. And that med kit guard post. We're going to drive by both those hot spots, okay? And if need be, take care of them with the rocket launcher. But right about here, I'm going to stop just before the crossroads. Give these guys a spanking again if they happen to be passing by. Nope. Let's boogie. Okay, so heading towards the med kit guard post that we took down earlier, we're gonna hang a right, go across the bridge, and as soon as we get across the bridge, we're gonna bail out of our vehicle and turn around to see if they followed us with a with an assault truck. Right about here. Yep, they're gonna follow us. Haha. 
I just love doing that. And that will act as a bit of a roadblock to keep them from, you know, to impede their progress as they try to follow us with another view, if, if they do so. So that's how you deal with that guard post. Just drive through it and give them a little spanking with the rocket launcher if they try to follow you with the assault truck. That's all you have to do. 